That's a circle, Jake. This is a basic epistemology problem for it's, your empiricism. Everybody heard him say it's self-evident because it exists. We know and, it based on the fact that we are created by God with a direct that's a, experience that's a, of those that's things. That's a circle that I directly perceive God as given to me. It says God cannot be seen. What do you mean? He says God cannot be seen. Of course God can be seen. We'll jump into the seven minutes of Jay interrogating Jake. The floor is all yours, Jay. Jake, earlier when you were talking about uh, your view of epistemology and whatnot, do you agree with the position of Ibn Tamiya as related on page 196 of the Suleiman book that the principles of reasoning are self-evident truths? Uh, I would have to look at the reference, but define self-evident. Not relying on anything else to be the case. Uh, I believe that they are known directly through the fitra. And that is what? Uh, what I explained before, similar to the what noose. What is what? What is what? I said I explained it before, similar to the noose. Okay, so every individual in an inner sense just knows self-evidently that what the law of logic is true, the laws of logic are true? Uh, he knows that certain principles like that a half is less than a whole, he knows these things directly, not through some type of inference. So are they self-evident? Self-evident only in the sense that he knows them directly through the fitra. Okay, so they and don't not, rely on... They're not they, from an inference. You so, they don't rely, so they don't rely on anything else to be true. Uh, they rely on God to exist, to create us with that fitra Hold on, we don't, apparatus. we don't know that that's the case yet. So you do, you do believe they're self-evident? I uh, know, I said. <laughs> they're not self-evident in, in the sense that you're no, talking to human about. perception. They're not dependent on human perception. They're prior to I didn't say are they dependent. I said are they self-evident to human perception. They're self-evident in the sense that they are known directly through the fitra as an apparatus. Okay. So uh, how do we do adjudicate between the things that are self-evident and the things that aren't? Uh, <laughs> by, by the fact of our existence. We know that, a, for example, a half is greater than a whole. Yeah, and that's a a half, so that's a fallacy. I mean, sorry, a whole is greater than a half. Yeah, that's There's a fallacy. No, there, there, Appealing there is, to existence doesn't justify the truths. I'm, I'm, I explain to you how. It's because we know them directly through the fitra. So we know them the because we know way. them. So that's no, a no, circle. No. no, it isn't. I, I explained how we know them. You just said we know them because we exist and experience them. That's a circle. No, I said, I said that we experience them uh -huh. through the apparatus of the fitra, which God has created human beings upon. Yeah, but how do, we know, how do we know the difference between those and the non-self-evident truths is what I asked you. You said by existence. Because they're self-evident, as you just said. Oh, so now you do believe in self-evidence. Self-evident in the sense that they're not based upon inference. And how do we know those distinct from the ones that aren't? Because you know when you make an inference and when you don't. And if you don't, then oh, you have so a Oh, so we just problem. know. So reality is well, reality. So t -dose. If you if, Did you get this you from T-Jump? Do you know the difference between when you're making an inference and when you're not? Uh, I'm asking you questions, not you. Exactly. Right. So I'm telling you. We right. know the so, difference between when we make an inference and when we don't make an inference. Yeah, but that's not answering the question. I'm, yes, I'm, asked, for the, I'm asked for the justification for the division between the self-referential and the non-self-referential. What's the justification? The justification is that the self-referential, which you're talking about, the self-evident ones, mm -hmm. do not rely upon inference where other people So they're self-evident because they're self-evident. No, they're self-evident. Self evident because they don't reply on inference and you're so asking they're how do we know that because they're how do we self -evident? know that because when i make an argument when i make an argument and i appeal to an inference rule i know that i'm appealing to an inference rule so there's so that's a circle jake this is a basic epistemology problem for it's, your empiricism do you have a question sir oh exactly <laughs> you have a question you ready for me to move on I'm, no, I'm asking you if okay. you have a question. So how do we know the face? difference between the self-referential self and question. the non? I already answered your question. No, you, you didn't. Repeat you, it? you just restated the know. We know. No, how, no, you said, how do we know that they're yeah. self How do we know the difference? How this do is, we know? It's called the criteria problem. No. How do we know yes, that Yes, it is. It's called the criteria. Are, we, are you familiar with the criteria I'm not problem? Answering, I'm not answering that. I know what the criterion problem is. Okay, and what is it? That's not my point. I'm saying to you. That's my question. So yeah, that's and why I'm you're saying, saying it's not your and point. And I'm saying to you that you're asking me, how do I know the difference between what's self-evident and what is known right. through an inference? No, between what's not self-evident. Right. And the opposite of not being self-evident is something that is known through so the So you're in the criterion process. problem, Jake. It's, 
You're I've giggling. explained it. I've explained it three times. It's very no, simple. You explained to understand. it, but it's not answering the criterion problem. Do you if know you what don't it is? know, if you don't know the difference, do you know what point, the criterion problem you, is? I already answered that question. Do you know what the problem is? Yes. What is it? I do. You just what, explained what the problem to Moderator, me. Moderator, he won't answer. Uh, do you know who's associated with it? Who's associated with what? The criteria problem. It's a problem in epistemology. Yeah. Who's who's associated with it? I don't know who the origin is. You're right. Of so it's is. David Chisholm. So how do you answer the criteria problem? I'm, I'm giving you an answer. No, I've been didn't. doing it for the past five minutes. So you'll you notice repeating, in the debate, Jake keep just talks the same, and he doesn't can, answer the objection. No, I asked, and he says I that it's self-evident because it's self-evident. No, I never said that. Never you did said say that. that. Everybody heard him say it's self-evident because it exists. And That's we don't. That's what I said. That is what he you said. He said, how do we know? And I said, yeah. we know it through a divinely created apparatus. Well, that's, that's how we know it. We don't we know, know it that directly. Yet. This is your starting point. What do you mean? We're this talking about starting, starting points. You're appealing to divine apparatuses. I'm talking about the starting point. No, I'm saying that that according to our epistemology, mm -hmm. the fitra is how we know these things, and we know that because it's we're created upon it. Yeah, but the question is about do you know that you're created that way? And you're just saying, well, we're made that way. That's my question. Yeah, I'm saying we know we're created because we have a direct experience. No, I'm asking about the principles of reason themselves and yes. you said you believe in self-evidence and then i said okay and then i asked you the criterion problem and you haven't answered the criterion problem you keep talking around it i've answered your question no, you have several it. times I, your answer was circular explain the circle because you said that well i know it's self-evident because it's self-evident and when i'm not doing something that's an inference that's not answering the criterion problem. no you asked how how do i know it what's the justification i, I explained asked the, you don't even understand the question. Do you want to state the, the question again? I, I said, what is the, the justification? What is the justification for the for the belief that you know the difference between the self-evident ones and the non-self-evident ones? So the criteria problem is saying that you have a more fundamental criteria by which you cash out these two different things and put them into different classes. How do you know that more fundamental uh, Chisholm issue is what I'm asking? Yeah, and I'm repeating the same exact answer. We know it based on the fact that we are created by God with a direct that's a, experience that's a, of those that's things. That's a circle that, that doesn't a, justify the criteria problem. That doesn't tell us, of, Jake, that doesn't tell us how we know the, the, the fundamental okay. criteria is the case. We were out of time. But we've got to kick it. Jake, you said that uh, you do, uh, you're happy to affirm this sort of empiricist uh, nominalist position. And that seems to necessitate the idea that all of the knowledge that we have comes from either sense data or relations of ideas. I'm just curious if you think that the peripatetic axiom itself is found in sense data. That's not my position. When did I ever say that I'm an empiricist? Well, if you're a nominalist, you're an empiricist. How does that follow? Well, you're how supposed you to ask the question. So you disagree with uh, how, what most people in your tradition? No. So you're not an empiricist? I'm not an empiricist by the standard that you just laid out. Well, so you don't think the knowledge comes from sense data? I do, but I don't think it's limited to sense data. I didn't limit it to that. I said also yeah, relations. Said. I said relations of ideas. Yeah, I don't think it's limited to those two. Okay, where else do we? Where, where else does knowledge come from? The fitra. And that is what? Do you know what it is? No, I don't. That's why I asked you. Okay. Well, similar, kind of similar to your concept of the noose. So a direct perception of God? Yes. How do you directly perceive God if, uh, as Ibn Tamiya says, God cannot be seen. What do you mean? He says, God cannot be seen? Of course God can be seen. Oh, how can God be seen? How can God be seen? I guess, Jay, you're not familiar with our You're giggling. Yeah, well, that's why we're asking I mean, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Jay, asking We're asking you that. I'm asking you. Yeah, and it's, and it's showing how can God be seen? Is he showing, seen with the eyes? It's, yes, he is. It's showing that your ignorance that you don't even know. I'll, that we, that I'm we glad believe. you think I'm ignorant. So that's it, why you exactly. get the chance to you get exactly. the chance to enlighten us. I'm trying to so if slow down, soldier. If you slow down, soldier, I will. Yes. The how, how is God seen by the eyes? I, I'm, if you allow me to talk, I'll tell you. By the beatific vision, we believe in the afterlife that we do see God with the eyes. Correct. How do you, but has anybody in this life seen God? No. Does God have a physical form? Not with the form? eyes. Not with the eyes. Does God have a physical form? Uh, define what you mean by physical. The body parts that are listed. We don't believe God has body parts, no. Well, you believe he has a foot, right? Uh, we believe, yes. We do we believe he has a foot. We believe his hand. What is a foot that's nothing like a created foot? 
what is a foot that's nothing like a created foot? Right. The same thing, the same thing that an essence is that's nothing like a created essence. Yeah, but our argument is not based on analogy for essence. I'm saying that any predicate that we ascribe to God and creation, there is a similarity in meaning, but it doesn't follow from that okay. that there and is what's a that similarity. Meaning? What's that similarity that, meaning? Let me finish. Does not follow from that that there is a similarity in ontology, which is I know that. completely new. Yeah, I understand. No, I understand that that's the Ibn Tamiya position. So I'm asking, what is the so similarity? So what's the problem with it? What is the similarity? What is the similarity in terms of the meaning? The color and what color. is that? You're just saying meaning. What is yes. that? Yes. So we know it based on the text. So if uh-huh. you go to the example, if you go to the example, okay. is, is all of that gonna, empirically I'm gonna, derived? I'm is gonna, the meaning I'm, empirically derived? If you if you allow me to finish, if you go to the text that describe the yed or the the foot, for example, the hands are described as being responsible for directly creating Adam. So this is how we understand the meanings of the text. So you reference the attributes uh, in context. So you reference another created object, right? What's the created object? The know. text. No, the text is not created. The the text that you read is created, right? The papers and the ink is yeah, created. Yeah, exactly. That's the, the papers. Text. The papers and the ink, but the words are That's uncreated. called the text. I know you're talking about the eternal Quran. That's not what I'm talking about. No, I'm not talking about. I don't even believe in an eternal Quran. Yeah. What are you talking so, about? So the, the text that you derived that knowledge from is empirical, right? The text that I derived... I don't understand the so question. Yeah, you don't understand the question. Exactly. No, I don't. It yeah, doesn't make right. any sense. Yeah, you, you imp- think I believe in no, a you don't empirically Quran. read you the don't Quran. Even know my position. You don't empirically read the Quran. Yes, we do. That was the question I asked you. So you we do read, we read but you did understand Quran, it. You just didn't want to ask you didn't want to answer it. You understood it then. No. <laughs> you you're yeah. you're, you you're empirically, not even able to ask you imp- appropriate questions. You, I asked you that. yeah, and then you, you think I believe in an eternal Quran. Where does it say that in the book you read? I'm asking you about your empiricism, which you don't want to talk about. And no, you I'm, said I'm, that. I'm very so what is a created foot? What is it? What is a foot that's nothing like a created foot? And I explained it to you. No, you didn't. I explained it to you. I said, you it's said known. go to these I said, texts. I said it's known. So it's I said it's known through the text. It's a, right, which is a circle of empirical sense data, which is what I'm asking what's, you about. What's, what's the circle? How do we from, know? How do we know? Empiricism about, how do to we know? another empirical piece of data to another empirical piece of data you can never get out of this loop that's why that's a problem for empiricism no it's not because it's the same thing when it comes to divine revelation according to the orthodox how do you know about that's the a trinity? two quote way no it's not that's no, a two quote not. way i how want to know your know, position how do you know about You're, the trinity you know about you the trinity in the you same said manner you know about the trinity you said in this the same manner to, uh, a moderator revelation. he doesn't answer the questions he just talks <laughs> over me you're complaining I to the that's a two quote way back hold on one sec you this want to is, reset. So hold on. To I asked him. About I can his answer position. the questions, however. No, Jake, I'm asking. Kill, uh, <laughs> I asked about his position, and he said your view of divine revelation. That's a two quote way. I'm asking about his position, which he won't explain. Okay, James. Whether or not my response is a fallacy is for the audience to decide. No, moderators can, are involved. I in can. That. I can. I don't know answer, if you know that. Moderators can, step in. Yeah, and I can answer, and I can say you're not that, answering. I can. A- I can you're answer. You're deflecting. Give, I you can won't answer. answer. I, uh, I can I give any say, answer I want. Yeah, I to say, exactly. We only have that a minute answer. left in this section. <laughs> I can give any. You can answer say anything I want. you want, which is what you're doing. Exactly, I'm answering your question. You just don't like the answer because no, saying you anything can't that you want my is position. Let's answer. just do one last, one last, just to be sure I understand the question, Jay. If you can ask yeah, it one ahead. more time for me. Right. So I asked for his basis for knowing what the Quran teaches, which is empirical sense data. And I'm trying to get at the point that he can never get out of the domain, the veil of empirical sense data to ever actually know anything about Allah himself, because much like the Thomas position, he's stuck in only seeing and interacting with created effects. So I'm trying to figure out, he says, well, in the future, there will be this direct uh, perception of Allah in the beatific vision. And I'm asking about the here and the now. How do you ever get yeah. out of the box of the challenge of human skepticism? Yeah. And I'm saying that we have a direct possession, a uh, direct experience of God right now through the concept of the fitra, which I explained. But since you don't even know what it is, it's no well, surprise that you don't de- understand. Explain, explain what it is. So you're just. So you're I, deflecting I did. I gave you a corollary within Orthodox theology where I explained that it's similar to the concept of noose. Where there is a direct experience you said of that, God, you said in the eschaton. A direct, no, 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 no. Yes, you did. No, no, no. You're confusing you said, a seeing God with a direct experience of God. Those are not the same thing. Jim. So is that had in this life? 
Yes, there's a direct experience of God right now that is not through some inferential process. It's not based on argumentation. Is it through this, the Quran? We, we are at the end of the seven minutes for that section. We might have to come back to this and the next set.